Song, yeah, me put a go back on Tonga River now on top of North Mindy now. Maybe I'll, I'll talk him Tonga River Windy now. Em, em, we're gonna sing him song a long time. <laughs> I think me better talk him talk long English now. Anybody talk on pigeon? That's all. That song I grew up as a little girl singing in Papua New Guinea, and he said it's true. I was born in Goroka, and then my parents were living in Tonga River at the mission station in Tonga River. And it wasn't long before I started to sing that song. That song is such a blessing song. Oh, give thanks to the good Lord of, above for his kindness and his love. You know, that's what God did for Papua New Guinea. Amen. And you don't talk about mission. I am true. Yeah. Be, am, many talk about saying this, but something God is making. I am talking. You give talk, talk thank you, Lord. Good, but God is down and up. Am God he woke him in capsized in Mari Mari Bloin on Papua New Guinea and now I'm become a free country. Now too he got named Christian. So am good for a blessing God he been capsized in Papua New Guinea. And then it says, Oh arise all you sons of the land and that's what we're telling people right now. You need to rise up as people of Papua New Guinea. Am talk arise all saying you you put a set up, you put all picking in your mind blown this below the ground. Because you need to stand up not just for Papua New Guinea, but you need to stand up for Jesus. You must stand up long Papua New Guinea too, that's so stand up long Jesus. Now be on him talk long him. Because the Bible says who the Son, who Jesus sets free, is free indeed. Bible they talk who's that set uh, Jesus set him all free and make him all free. Him all by free free true true. But if you are just free without Jesus, you're not really free. Suppose you told me free, so you know God Jesus, you know true, true free. Because you're still bound by the plan of the enemy for your life. Because Satan will go holding you, Calabush, life blow you. So if you really want to be free and you really want to celebrate independence in Papua New Guinea. Suppose you like free true, now you like celebrating this for a time of independence from Papua New Guinea. It's a good day to get independence with with from the devil and to be free with God. And a good for a day, bro, you must come up independent, long passion blow Satan, are you free when I'm God? So we're gonna start sharing some stories about when my father went to Papua New Guinea and how he met Sir Wiwa Korowi. Me put like story now on how me been going on Papua New Guinea and me been booing him Sir Wiwa Korowi. But the whole reason we're sharing these stories of one talks that's all ask bro why me but I show uh, give you this little story blow and talk it's because we're trying to show you the love of Jesus me but like show him you pull uh, how much Jesus is I like him you pull and how he sent missionaries long before many of us were born I'm selling more missionary before some people you play mama car you pull to come to your nation. No come no country blow you pull To let you know that God sent his son. To long talk savvy long you pull out 
God, Papa God, selling Peter Blum. To die on a cross. No, I am going to die on the white cross. So that you could be free. So you must come out free. So we're going to share some of these stories with you now. Tell me for like make him some of a story, bro. You put it now. I think by me down and talk now. Now you talk. Okay. Uh, M, this for a story or same time. Uh, I think last. I'm inside a little bit. I don't think they can see. Last. Uh, I, I studied my story like like long how me been come up from Kalpina. Now time me come up from Kalpina, me bring him some of a line. Uh, some of all all picking about. Me put all come up for a man. Me young for a man. Fourteen Christmas stars all now. Me stop. Now, me bring him some of the man, and me put a good for a friend. That's all behind long moon May. Me come up long February. That's all long moon May. Me had him story of him. Sister blow me. Number two, sister blow me. Lenita. Em, me come. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. yesterday he told the stories about how he first came to uh, Papua New Guinea. Excuse me. And how he came to Kalpina. And if you haven't heard all the stories that we've been sharing, they're on so you can go back and you can listen to all the stories. He came in 1958, and so he came in February, and he said then around May, he began to hear about his sister. Now, Sister Blomi Lenita, and by Cameron Kalpina, now none of us, Susan, now man Blom, Claudine Chamberlain, the Victor Chamberlain, all by going to Tambul. So his other sister, Lenita, was coming to come to Calpena, and his other sister and her husband, Claudine and Victor Chamberlain, were going to go to Tombal. So me had him, Lenita, come. We told oh, me must go kiss him in, long power book. So he heard that Lenita was coming, and he said, okay, I need to go get her from power book. Me walk about, they go to Brookham, Chicago, go come up long power book. <clears throat> so he began to walk and he went through and went over the Kago River and then he came to to Paperbook. And the plane brought Lenita to Paperbook. Now Lenita and me went for a big for a Mary. And and Aunt Lenita was a very heavy set woman. And me sabe in and up easy long and must walk about in a broken a mountain and go come up on Kalpina. And he knew it wasn't going to be easy for her to trek over the mountains and go all the way that it had to do to be able to come to Calpena. So number one day I'm coming to me talk, you me must try and walk about. Le M, M talk, I'll say number one day, I mean, sorry, the first day that she came to Popper Book. <laughs> I'm losing thing, thing yet. The first day that she came to Popper Book, he knew she couldn't walk that whole four hour journey to Calpena, and so he said to her, "Let's just start out, and we'll just take it easy, and we'll just walk part of the way." People walk about long road, go on up long, long uh, close to long uh, head long water poop. So he said they they began to walk, and they came near to a road that connected to to the river called Water Poop. Now people are broken water poop, ain't no big but a water long this pullup, and people are broken him long lake that some people are. Uh, going on that other side. So when they got to that water, water poop, they were able to cross it. It wasn't really big, so they were able to get across it and, and ford it to the other side. Now, me put a walk about, he go down long, long, not about a side, he go, he go, come back close to the power book. And then they continued to keep walking until they were able to go back down and then go back closer to power book. Now, me put a come back long bridge, long, broken water poop. Then they came back to a bridge where they could cross over that water poop. And this for a bridge and two for a DY Tassoli sign up. Uh, size, nah, uh, you go one for a side, you come over another for a side, low water poop. And that bridge was a vine bridge and it uh, had log bridge. a log bridge and it had two little logs that you could cross over onto it. Now, Lenita, I'm starting to walk about and behind him go sign up now, maybe long this for a little bridge now. And for it, I no got there, but me fall down there. She started to go across it and it was walking on that little logs and then she got in the middle of it and she said, oh no, I can't go. I'm afraid I'm going to fall. Now one for the monkey pop rook and we go hold him on, blow him to help him and walk about it go on the upside. And then there was a boy from Popper Book that came over and he got her hand and he began to help her walk across that bridge to the other side. Now me put a come up along Popper Book again uh, tomorrow and time for me put a go to Calpina. So then they came back to Popper Book again, and so then he was going to take her the next day to Calpena. Me put a walk about to go. Now, Mary, I had walked through Tassel and broke him this for a bush. Now, 
mountain, na bridge, na mi palego kama plong kaupana. And so they began to walk, and then it was a lot of work for her, and she really had a hard time, difficulty trekking through the mountains and going across the the river, but she was able to do it, and they finally ended up at Kalpena Station. Oh, look, him, Lenita, come na na zambal all over the singa. I'm going to run lower more. I'm talking one for the red many come ah. So they begin to see her come. The people begin to see Lenita come, and they begin to. To, to sing out and holler out, oh, here comes a, a red person. I'm going to go to Gango and Big Pula, Red Pula Mary. <laughs> they begin to holler out that she she was a, a very large uh, red person. Now she, uh, sorry, M, M2 went to uh, school, Mary, M teacher. That two M is I make him some work long, look at him how sick one time. So Lenita was a nurse and she was a teacher. Now I'm starting school now, and uh, plenty picking in the old like come on school, bro. Am. And so she started a school there at Calpena, and lots of people, lots of kids wanted to come to the school. It was their first school. Mama, Papa, bro, all carry more to come to talk. Am people like putting picking in, bro? People is I love school, bro. You, all talk, all call him uh, Lenita. So the the mothers and the fathers of the children came, and they said, "We want to put our children in your school," and they called her. Um, Lenita. Na em work on teach him all on school. Na behind some of the missionary come to na bung him em long work him big for the school come up. So she began to teach the kids in school and began to start that school. And then later there was other missionaries that came and they developed a really big school there at Calpena. Behind another for the Susa blow me Joanna one time man blow him Winston Weirman uh, two for two come to join him me for long Calpena. And then his other sister, Joanna, and her husband, Winston, they came too, and they came to Calpena. I think simply, you plus have long Calpena, you must talk, me plus have long Calpena. Now, this for the time, I'm, I'm all working big for the school, and Winston too, I'm a good for teacher, and I'm sorry, long working mathematics or, or arithmetic, uh, count him all number, and I'm booming all number, sometimes I make him good through, and I'm teaching him all plenty, plenty beginning. So at that time, Winston, Joanna's husband, was a really good teacher as well, and he knew math really well, and he could teach them really well how to do math. And so he was teaching a lot of children over there how to count and how to do math. Now, one for a day, one for a <coughs> monkey, and we come, and I told me I go to school. And then one day, there was a, a child that came that said, or a boy that came that said, I want to go to school. Me people say this by the time all line all knows how much Christmas blow all or one in year mama all knows I count him year now all say how much year mama papa carry more. So at that time the people did not know because they had no way of keeping a track of how old they were. They didn't know how long it had been since they had been born and they didn't know how old they were. Government talk you must kiss him all six Christmas piggy now start him all on school him all buying up kiss him sabe quick. And so the government said, if they're six years old, then they can start school because then they'll be able to understand. Now, this for a time, people ask him, well, you got how much Christmas? I'm talking, me people are So then they asked the, the kids, how old are you? And the kids said, we don't know. So the government told him, he got one blow away by you, Savi. So the, <laughs> so the government told them that there is one way that you're going to know if they're six years old. Ask him all, pick it any long. Put him hand blown all he gonna hold him yell blow all the side all same. And the government told them if if the children can take their hand and put it over and touch their ear on this side, then they am all all must come up six Christmas finish. Then he then they said then they must be six years old. That's all this for a boy come and me win him six m m. I think him must go on that long ten eleven twelve thirteen Christmas something. But this boy that came that wanted to start school. That he was a lot older. He he must have been around ten or twelve. Now sample uh uh all talk Makia he no got mama papa all die na em tasol em he like come school. And some of the people said, well, this boy doesn't have a mother or a father. They've died, but he wants to go to school. Now another people missionary all talk. I am all people monkey penisia. He no have kiss him good long long kiss him sabi long talk English or long go long English school. 
But some of the other missionaries said, well, he's probably too old to be able to really learn. It's going to be hard for him to learn English or to go to an English school. And, and he's just too old to be able to really learn. But Lenita said, no, we have to let him come. We want him to come to school. She said, I believe this boy can learn. I believe that he's going to be able to be educated. Through this for a monkey, now come along school, and I'm working on kiss him savvy quick, and I kiss him savvy good. So it was true. The boy came to school, and he began to learn quickly, and he began to really understand. Behind him, call up him this for a school, and he go along standard six, and win him this for a standard six test. And then after he was done with that school, he went to, and took the standard six test in Papua New Guinea, and he passed that test. And when him this fellow finished now, I'm going to high school. And then after that, he went to high school. Behind him, he go along long, uh, teacher's college. And then he went to teacher's college. Now I'm become up teacher, along some of the high school students. And then he began to teach high school students. Now all of a sudden, I'm long, long Mindy. Now this for a time, and behind me go stop along Mindy. Now walking one for the church. Now we were, and we stop. Now I'm teach long this for the high school of Mindy. And then after he went to Mindy and he was there, Pastor Buston went to Mindy and he started a school, a church in Mindy. And this this man Wewa was there. And this fellow him come up Wewa now and Wewa now behind him to be like run long come up member from Parliament. And then Wewa told Reverend Buston, "I want to become a member of Parliament." Now behind him we go walk inside long government. Now, one for a time, all vote, now all talk. You must come up, Governor General, belong Papua New Guinea. So then he was working in the government, and then they voted, and they said, we want you to become the Governor General of Papua New Guinea. Now, behind Queen, he walked, mock him in the talk, you know, and then belong you, Sir Wewa Korowe. And then he went to the Queen, the one that just died, he went to her, and she knighted him, Sir, we were quarter we. This fellow monkey, all talk, he's not going to come to school, and we win him school now, and I am going to go win him government too, and I am come up number one in Zylon government from Papua New Guinea. So this boy that they said he couldn't even go to school, that he wouldn't be able to learn, and they, they discarded him, he became the number one uh, in the government in Papua New Guinea. Now, I am representing Queen. Uh, I'm also I'm, 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 talk, I'm head of state. I'm also I'm queen representative. I'm, I'm uh, Papua New Guinea. I'm, I'm one for the um, government. He stopped one time. Government belong England. Uh, this for a time, many I come up also I'm head of state of the nation of Papua New Guinea. So he was representing the queen to the country of Papua New Guinea, and he was the the number one of the government that was representing the queen and he became the head of state to Papua New Guinea. Now behind, he go plenty year behind, Lanita Emi Daipinis. Then years later, much long, a long time later, like what? 97. 1997, Lanita, the one that believed in him and put him in school, she she died there at Calpena. Now, me, when I'm not about to sister blow me, Joanna, me too, but I fly, I go along, uh, long, uh, house cry blow in, long Calpena station. And he and his sister Joanna went to Calpena and they went to the funeral where Lenita was being buried there at Calpena. Now, all, um, plenty line only come, now, you know, feet all get they go inside long house low two, so me put a low two outside. There was so many people that came for her funeral that they could not have it inside the church they had to have it outside now time me pala boom he stop outside and me pala start to this pala lick lick uh low two service from me pala one pala balusi come and as they were getting ready to start the funeral for lanita and they were outside having the service an airplane landed now doi op now sir we were quarter we come outside on this pillar balus. And the door opened and there was Sir We were quarter we coming out of the plane. Now I'm starting to walk about the come along where me pillar sitting down along along uh, uh, outside long grass now. Many I walk along cry big mouse. And he began to walk towards the funeral and he began to walk to where they were having her service and he began to cry out loud. Um I'm talking ay, 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 I'm going to go more. I'll say I sorry through Mary, Red Maria, I'm diving this. 
He began to cry out, We're so sorry that the red lady has died. And then my father let Sir Wiwa talk at the funeral. And we get up and I point him box die box from Lenita. Now we talk. He got up and he pointed at where Lenita was buried in the coffin. And talk. Suppose em, this fellow Mary, you know, look after me or helping me. Me not stop all same now. Me Governor General. And talk Governor General. And because this fellow Mary been helping me. He said, if it wasn't for this woman who helped me and believed in me, I never would have become the Governor General. The reason I'm the Governor General is because Lenita believed and helped in me. Now me fellow planted me on Calpella Station. and might not blow any stop yet. And Lenita is buried there at the Calpena station. That was her wish. She wanted to be buried with her people in Papua New Guinea. Uh, this fella and one fella story belong. Uh, one fella man, me, me story, lo him, Sir Wewa Kodori. This is just one story about one man, Sir Wewa Kodori. Uh, one fella time, by me showing you fella, one fella picture, belong Lenita, one time class, belong him, no 1963. One of these days, we're going to show you a picture with Lenita and her class of 1963. Now, M 1963, some people are legally mucky. Now, we were two we stop inside on this picture. In 1963, there was a lot of little kids, and then Wewa was in that picture. If you were in that class and you're watching, put it in that you're in that class. Now, behind long 2000 something, or same uh, 2003, me go back to Papua New Guinea and me try to find him all this for all picking any stuff inside on this fellow class. And in, in 2003, he went back to Papua New Guinea and he began to look for all those kids that were in that class in 1963. Me go sit down one time, sir, we were this fellow time, and me ask him a long story, long me, long life, long him too. Now, me bring him some of the plenty line, Koro uh, Apoka, uh, uh, and some of the line too. Me bring him on, all work him testimony, and me got testimony from all. Long how all the been stopped on this black class, that's all God he help him all. So he went back and he sat down with Sir Wewa and he asked him to share his story about how he had been in that class and he got with several other people from those classes. What was the guy's name? And he asked him about the story as well that he uh, was in that class and those classmates that were 1963 students in Kalpena. And he'd been come up teacher and I'm teaching more than 2,000. When in 2,000 teacher, he go teaching about M, M school, he more long come up teacher. So Koroa Pokoya became a teacher and then he became a head teacher that, that taught more than 2,000 other teachers how to become teachers. So one for the time, by me showing this for a picture, and, uh, show him name below, some of all this for a line, all this stuff inside on picture. So one of these days, he's going to show you the picture and he'll tell you the names of all the people that were in that picture. This for a one for a class, that's all. It means Chinese in Papua New Guinea. That one class of 1963, the students that came out of that class helped to change and shape Papua New Guinea. So, M, you may give me big Bahama Mas now. Now, time, blow you me how much long Independence Day, I think. Uh, tomorrow's long, you put a sun light, uh, too light like Brook now. And by you put a look at Independence Day come out. So we're giving a big thanks about Independence Day and tomorrow when you wake up in the morning and it's just beginning to be daylight, you'll see it's Independence Day again in Papua New Guinea. Now you put them up, stand up and sing him, Oh, arise all you sons of this land. You put them up, stand up, low name blow Jesus, no talk, him ground blow God. Now you put them up, hold him, name blow God on top. So when you get up tomorrow, you need to stand up and begin to sing that song, Oh, arise, all you sons of this land, and stand up for God and hold the name of God over the nation. So I think you may bet in past time now. You may finish in this little story time, huh? Just let me like talk one plus something. Okay, you talk. Just like, and good for example, long Lenita, and me got faith long to slum one plus piggy And that's a good story about how Lenita had faith in this one little boy. And she, because of her faith and her belief in him, he he was able to succeed. Because Lenita believed long and we go win, come up win man. 
But God believes in you too. God he believed on you one time. He said in Jeremiah 29 11, I think thoughts of good and not of evil towards you. Now Jeremiah 29 11, the Bible he talk, God he talk, me got good blood ting ding, no ting ding long, no good in Utah, so ting ding, good blood ting ding long life for you. To give you a future and a hope. Me like giving you one blood, good blood time come up behind, and you got, got believed in a hope one time. So you got to think about just that one lady, my aunt, Apanita, her faith in that man. The thing in this fellow, one fellow Mary, Apanita, um, uh, um, Auntie Blong, uh, Pigny Blong, me, um, this fellow, um, um, God believe long, this fellow boy, and um, believe now, him um, come out. But just, she had the same belief that he would come up, but God has that belief for you, and he has a purpose and a plan for your life and for Papua New Guinea. Now, God, he got this for a kind like long you too. Now, you who's that? You hiring me for a stop. God, he got plan on life long you. I'm a good blood plan. And me like look at him you now. Now, also, and, uh, one time, and me like look at him Papua New Guinea. But the devil also has a plan for Papua New Guinea. Satan too, and we got plan. And me like working plan on bugger up in Papua New Guinea. And he has a plan to destroy your life. And me like bugger up in life for you one time. So you have to choose... Whose plan are you going to follow? You yet you must mark him. Who's that by me behind him? Plan blow. Who's that by me behind him? Are you going to choose to follow Jesus? By, and, you, by you behind him, Jesus? Or are you going to choose to follow the enemy's plan for your or life? Or you you like behind him, passion blow, like blow, or plan blow, birua blow, you miss certain long, foul him, light blow you. If you choose to follow Jesus, it's simple. Suppose you like behind him, Jesus, am easy. You have to just ask him to come into your heart. You ask him, him sing out him and talk, come inside on bell blow me. And forgive me of my sins. Let him all get the sin blow me. And lead me and guide me. Now you must show him road blow me. And become Lord over my life. You must have big pillar and a boss him life blow me. And when you do that. The time you make him all same. You become in part of the family of God. You come inside of family of God. And now we're brothers and sisters. Now you be brother and sister. And we will be able to meet in heaven. Now by you be boom behind long heaven. And God will continue to direct your life. Now God in by up long look at him the boss him life blow you. And the promises of God will come up in your life. Now promise from God in by come up through the place clear long life blow you. And then you can believe for your family and for your nation. Now you can believe long family blow you too. God bless him all one time, country blow you. So tonight, if you don't know Jesus before you go to sleep. Tonight, suppose you know Samuel on Jesus, you know can go sleep, hurry up. Ask Jesus tonight to come into your heart. Past time, you must ask him, Jesus, long come inside, long bed blow you. And cleanse you from all of the things in the past. Now wash him, now rouse him, all get the past you no good blow before. And then tomorrow when you get up. Now tomorrow time you get up. It will be a real Independence Day. Am Independence Day through through. Not just for Papua New Guinea. You know from Papua New Guinea Taso. But from you leaving the kingdom of darkness. Now Taso them Independence belong you because you losing this fellow kingdom belong too dark. And come up into God's marvelous kingdom of light. Now you come up inside on good fellow kingdom to light belong God. All right. Now by me, me will bed then. Okay. You want to pray? Papa God, me brother, thank you, Lord. This for uh, Independence Day come close to now. Plenty man, many all work on Hamas. Me brother, thank you, Lord. This for a country you've been looking at him, the bless him. Na. Thank you, Lord. Plenty man, all same, sir. We were not for a plenty man, too. All, all he been stopped inside of Bush, all in the Savi name, Lord Jesus. That's all, all missionary come to carry him this for good news. Na. Behind all Savi, all Tiny Bell, all go inside long. Kingdom blow you, and the family blow you. Na. Lord God, me for asking you, Lord, bless him all who's at Oklo Harim, Negbro, me for now, long this for time. Now bless him, Papua New Guinea, now tomorrow. So make him something down him this for thing, thing. Yes. Now lift him up, him name, Lord Jesus. He go on top, now he stop, Lord of Lords, and the King of Kings, belong Papua New Guinea. Now me for ask him, Lord, name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, I think you will go sleep now, now tomorrow morning, and by happy Independence Day, long you will get the. Me blow up on bed and ask him, Papa God, will make him good for something. He come up on Papa New Guinea and come up on life on you. Amen. And we're working to get a WhatsApp in Papa New Guinea. Some of you have been asking to connect. We're getting a WhatsApp number and we will be putting it there so we can connect with you in Papa New Guinea as well. 
God bless you. Good night. Remember, Psalms 91 says God will put his angels charge over you to keep Amen. you in all your ways. We pray that over you in Jesus' name. Manda urupe payo. Kiwi wede piamine. Look at me behind. <laughs>